Hey everybody, so guess what? My Forerunner is finally here and I've been waiting since January. We are in uh, November, November of 20th right now. So almost a whole year I've waited for this. Uh, so this is actually a 2023 and uh, what's new for 2023, uh, you get a heated steering wheel because they added a heated steering wheel. So it's, uh, it's a little bit thicker than the Tacoma. It's, it's, it's literally the exact same steering wheel as the Tacoma. Um, but yeah, uh, Audio units are uh, pretty much the same, uh, still slow. Uh, the ca the backup camera is still a potato, same as the Tacoma. So it's, yeah, you know, the, the, the picture quality in the, uh, the cameras are uh, not very great. Well, let me see if I can have that. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's kind of like, sorry about the light, but it's like the potato quality, but when I need the backup camera, I just look back like you're supposed to and not rely on the camera anyways. Um, yeah. One thing I really like is you get a mechanical shifter for your four-wheel drive system, unlike the Tacoma. One thing that you should know, if you are uh, if you have a Tacoma with the selector for the four-wheel drive, uh, the knob, uh, if it is still trying to engage and you shut off the vehicle, it's uh, you're basically screwed because you got to manually move that um, actuator into one position so it knows where the position is again so something you might want to know if you had a have a Tacoma but what else is new for 2023 is you get uh, some some more protection you get these uh you know rocker protectors uh, I guess you can call them rock sliders but they don't stick out very much right you can't really use them as steps and uh, yeah they're steel so I guess that's uh, that's new for 2023, but everything else, that's uh, pretty much it. This is what it looks like. And uh, it's pretty tall if you have a short garage or if you live in a condo, because it just skims skims my garage door right there. So yeah, other than that, it looks, it's, it looks really sweet. I really, personally, I really like the, the Forerunner. Um, just not, not just because of the looks, but I, I, I like it because, uh, you know, reliability, I guess, because, you know, working at a shop where you get a lot of Toyotas and you see them with like 300, 400,000 kilometers on them and, you know, they're still going, right? And uh, yeah, but lately I, I feel like, you know, all the new cars nowadays, their quality control isn't the greatest. And uh, yeah, I still, I kind of still believe in the Toyota before, you know, I wanted to get the Forerunner before it uh, switched over to the next generation with the, you know, the, well, from what I'm hearing, is uh, they're gonna go to a four-cylinder turbo, and uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want that. I just, I really like the, the you know, four-liter V6 with the five-speed transmission. So that's, that's the reason why I got this. And uh, this one also doesn't have the KDSS system, so that's, uh, that's a bonus for me because that's, that's why I like it. But yeah, that's the front, front grill, right? I like that. I like how it looks. And yeah, not much to say about it, but. After driving it for a week, I, you know, I, I, I really like it. It's not the quickest on the on the highway, but you know, it gets around. And uh, yeah, that that roof basket. If you're wondering if there's a, a lot of noise, uh, yeah, there is definitely wind noise. But this is not the most aerodynamic truck. But yeah, the tires that came on it on it is, uh, you know, you get the Nitto Draplers. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty quiet, but I'll see. After you know, after so many kilometers, maybe it'll get noisy. Just like the uh, Falcon Wild Peaks I have my own, have on my Tacoma. Uh, yeah, it was quiet at first when I first drive uh, started. You know, driving for a little bit, and then yeah, then it got super loud, and all you hear is a lot of road noise. And uh, this thing, this thing has a TRD exhaust. Right, it's pretty pretty loud when you're on it. So on the highway, it's pretty droney. And this is this is probably my favorite part. You know, it's the uh, the window you can roll down the window yeah you get yourself a tonneau cover plenty of space back here if you like to you know throw groceries and stuff in there and then throw in the back seat some people i know with floor runners they fold down the back seat and they put like a mattress in here and they actually just sleep in here which is uh yeah lots of space so if you have kids or family and you're looking to haul haul things it's a yeah it's a pretty nice vehicle to have to get around and you know do your grocery shopping so 
Yeah. And yeah, so you, know, you got your hood, you got the fake hood scoop. It actually doesn't, it's not a functional hood scoop. I guess it's just for looks. And so underneath the hood, we got the, uh, you know, four liter V6. Um, yeah, I, 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 I wanted the four liter V6 because, you know, just because it's been out for so long, uh, you know, it's reliable. And that's, you know, when you're a mechanic, you don't want to fix anything, right? So you, you want something to be reliable. And, uh, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I actually got this car is so I can't remember. I, I, there was one time I was working on a forerunner and it was having delayed shifts and I had a buddy that worked at like a Toyota dealership and he's like, Oh yeah, take the, uh, take the pan off and uh, check the screen because usually they're plugged up with stuff. And so I did that and I pulled off the pan on the, uh, the transmission and I was like, yo, there's some pretty big chunks in there. And he's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry. They're freaking bulletproof. Just clean it out, stick it back in. It'll just keep going. And <laughs> ever since then, I'm like, yo, that's, that's, that's pretty crazy. But the car originally has almost 400,000 kilometers on it. So it's, uh, I, that, that really amazes me. So, so yeah. And, uh, you know, the oil it takes, it's a uh, zero W 20 and <laughs> thank God it's not zero W 16. Uh, so I can use the same oil as the, what I've been putting in my Tacoma. So, you know, the Pennzoil Platinum Ultra synthetic oil and i'm going to keep using that oil uh hopefully you know when uh you know when 2000 kilometers hit that's when uh i'm going to do the break in oil uh break in oil change uh because because uh, you know when when an engine brake is breaking in there's a lot of metal metal material that goes through your filter and you want to get that stuff out like as quick as you can and yeah when that when that time comes i'm going to show you uh in the uh, oil filter cap and see how much sparklies are are in there i'm getting a little bit dirty just driving but yeah anyways uh so yeah just a quick quick look at the uh 2023 forerunner trd pro uh it comes with a little roof basket and yeah other than that, nothing's really has changed in, you know, 13 years other than like a facelift and, you know, wheels and tires and stuff like that. And the added, you know, rock sliders, I guess, which, you know, this is going to be my mall crawler. So it's not, it's not going to see any off road. I, I got, that's what the Tacoma is for. So I, I actually just kept, uh, instead of trading in my Tacoma, I kept it and they were going to offer me more than what I paid for it when I bought it and, but I spent more money on, you know, suspension, tires, wheels, bed rack, tent. And so I decided to keep it instead of trading it in. So now I got two trucks, but yeah, if you're looking into getting a forerunner, you know, maybe this, this video might help you make a decision. So yeah, just looking at the interior, um, you got some areas where they're soft, soft to touch. But then you get closer to the front, it's kind of like hard plastic, but still soft here. And then there's a little shallow cubby area and then your cup holders and the door pockets here. Um, it comes with these rubber floor mats from the factory. And uh, yeah, so uh, one thing uh, when I, you know, connect my phone, right, to Android Auto, um, this slot is not big enough to put your phone in. So it doesn't fit. And this thing is also not deep enough for you to stick your phone all the way in. And uh, what I have been doing is I have to lay my phone on this area here, right? But I guess they made a little slot for you so you can put a, put your phone here, right? But with it connected, it, it kind of just sticks up here and it kind of puts pressure on this cable and then you kind of lose connection with your Android Auto sometimes. And that's what I found kind of uh, annoying. But yeah, the way around it, I just lay it on here. Uh, what else? Uh, so you got your multi-terrain select, which is also on your TRD off-road. Um, you got your A track, which is actually, well, if you if you look online and you and it, and you're looking how it works, it, it actually works really well on the Forerunner. And you also got got your uh, rear diff lock and your home link, so you know for your garage door openers and stuff. But yeah, so the headliner, um, it's, it's gray, uh, on, in the Tacoma, it's black. I, I kind of prefer the black headliner with the black, black AB pillars. And yeah, it's just, just, you know, personal preference, I guess. 
and yeah so headrest got the trd uh logo on it and yeah oh we got that we got that humidifier for my for the uh for the missus plants she's trying to grow in the uh in her bathroom you know because it's nice and warm in there and I'm trying to get them to uh to grow during the winter time uh yeah everything's pretty basic you got the big knobs and stuff and yeah, that's that's the stuff I kind of prefer. It doesn't have any uh, you know, fancy gadgets or anything. Uh, you know, in some like in some vehicles where there's like the whole center console's full of buttons. Uh not this, which, you know, things that I really like. And uh if you know, on the instrument cluster, you got your regular analog gauges and a temperature gauge. And yeah, that's that's something I I really prefer over like a whole screen as a instrument cluster because, you know, I I've I've worked at places where they had a you know screen and the screen loses some pixels and you got a line of dead pixels or something and you're replacing that uh, it's kind of you know if you're keeping the car long term it's probably going to be pretty expensive <laughs> uh, yeah but yeah the reason why i got the uh forerunner is you know mostly for reliability i want to keep this car um especially when you know new cars nowadays uh, the stuff that are coming out of factory, I feel like the the quality quality control out of those things are not not the not the greatest, but not as much as certain certain manufacturers. Like for instance, here I'll show you a picture. Um, I, I I was we were doing a PDI it, uh, to let you know what I'm not gonna say the uh, manufacturer name, but you know from the factory it came in and it had a bunch of electrical issues, and it ended up being. Uh, I guess somebody at the factory spilled coolant into the fuse box and it corroded the terminals and we were getting a whole bunch of um, electrical issues. And yeah, and if you see up in that top corner, right? Um, yeah, there's the coolant bottle <laughs> and it's pink. And there was pink, pink and green crusties in the uh, connector of that fuse box. So, yeah, yeah, this is stuff I find, especially you know when I, I came from a dealership when you're doing all half all the PDIs and half the shipment of PDIs have have problems. It's uh, you know it's it's all comes down to quality control, I guess. And, all right, so yeah, that's uh, that's my brand new 2023 Toyota 4Runner, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd share it with you. And of course, you know, I, I always share everything with you guys out there. Um, more so than my girlfriend, cause, you know, she's not much of a car, car person. So it's nice talking to you guys down in the comments, cause I read all your comments. But anyways, I hope you liked the video. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below and uh, I'll see you next time.